Well, a recent investigation by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission has concluded that the San Onofre nuclear power plant wasn't trying to cover anything up before its closure. The investigation revealed the allegation that Southern California Edison employees at the plant failed to provide complete and accurate information to the NRC inspectors is false. Edison retired the twin reactor plant last year because of a radiation leak from worn down turbining in the steam generators. The utility company was originally cited for failing to check them back in 2013. Edison has now forwarded the findings of the investigation to the California Public Utilities Commission. It is now considering a settlement proposal to resolve the outstanding plant costs, which could end up costing utility customers $3.3 billion. Joining us now to talk about the investigation, Attorney Mike Aguirre. Mike, right out of the gate, exactly what did the NRC base its uh, decision on in coming to this conclusion? This is the entire report right here. A single page. They are now deploying the Nuclear Regulatory Commission investigators over to investigate the water leak because they're going to determine that it really wasn't a water leak. Okay, it's just your imagination. Can you imagine? One single page. And what in that page did it say that was it there a paragraph? They, yeah, this, it just said we weren't able to substantiate it. But they didn't say what they did. This is how much effort. You have to understand, the, the NRC goes to bed at night with the people in San Onofre. They were the ones, the NRC overseers were the ones that allowed this to happen to begin with. How can you have a $5 million mistake? $5 million mistake shut down the plant. The steam generators lasted for two years. They were supposed to last 40. There's never been an investigation into who was responsible. The, I've, I've written a 16-page letter to the U.S. Attorney's offices outlining all of the allegations and details about what should be investigated. I'd like to have anyone compare these two documents to see which one is dealing with hard facts and hard reality. And this is the problem that we have. The people of San Diego and the people of Southern California are going to have to pay $5 billion for these uh, outages that occurred at San Onofre, but no one has attempted in the PUC to determine, the California Public Utilities Commission, who was responsible. And their own internal investigator came out and said, hey, this needs to be done, and then they terminated his investigation. So what the people of California have to understand is some places are doing something with, with regard to San Bruno, up in the Bay Area, they've indicted PG&E up there for something similar. And here in San Onofre, we get a single page. Uh, you know, we've had, we had the, the San Diego Gas and Electric caused the fires down here in 2007. We had the San Bruno uh, 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 gas pipe uh, explosion, PG&E equipment. And then now we've had San Onofre. And the safety of the people of California is very much at risk. And it's not helped when we get these ludicrous reports. And then, like you said, oh, they're going to turn this over to the PUC. Yeah, they sent it to them by email and said and tried to you know proclaim that somehow this was some big you know clearing of their of their bad behavior. So the nuclear nuclear regulatory commission says no cover up on uh, the part of uh, San Onofre. However, you've always uh, alleged that it wasn't really an independent investigation. Yeah. Right? They, yeah, they had... didn't cover it up because we didn't investigate it, is what they really should have said. And, and what they say here is they, they say that uh, the documents may be, okay, they say that they were unable, the inspector was not substantiated. That's all they said. They said that, well, they don't say what we did to substantiate it. What they were basically saying is, hey, look, they didn't mislead us. We were actually just went along with whatever they told us. I mean, we never, do you realize that no one has ever investigated what happened at San Onofre? The only people that have ever investigated it were the people from Southern Cal Edison. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission never investigated it. The Public Utilities Commission never investigated it. And they put out a one-page letter and get headlines by saying that they weren't able to substantiate it. But there was no, I mean, it's, it's a pretty sad situation. This is a letter that was written. I got an internal letter here, which I, we don't have time to go into, but this was written in 2004, and it shows that the people at Southern Cal Edison had a very good idea that exactly what was going to happen happened ahead of time, and they decided not to make the corrections because they didn't want to go through the relicensing because it would slow them down some. So I, what happens yeah. now? What's I, I can imagine, like, you were livid when you read in there the two words that said, case closed. No, I, I, I knew, I, I thought it was humorous. You know, because a lot of the media now is starting to catch on. 
And I look, I think that this actually hurts them that rather than helps them because they're trying to say, like the, with the settlement, they said it was a $1.4 billion benefit to the ratepayers when, in fact, there was no benefit. Now they're saying that they cleared them and then they put out a one-page document. I mean, it's, it, I think many people are starting to say, okay, what they did in San Francisco is the right model. They brought in the U.S. Attorney's Office. They brought in a, a, an investigator. They indicted uh, PG&E. And we, what I've done is I've asked in this 16-page letter for the U.S. Attorney's Office here in San Diego and in San Francisco, uh, San Diego, or L.A. to do the same thing, start an investigation and do it for real. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be following this. We know you will be, and uh, we look forward to our next encounter. Oh, yeah. uh, why? I, it's going to be fun. Keep us posted. Okay, thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you, Mike.